Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Sunday. So it's been a lot going on. I know y'all have been looking for me like literally all morning. Well, ever since last night. So what ended up happening is after I had edited my 616 in LA video, um, I was going to do my deep dive, but I was super tired because y'all know Friday was crazy. Drake dropped and then Kendrick dropped and then I was up to literally four o'clock in the morning on live stream. I've never done that before, but it was so fun. It was all good vibes, all good energy. But guess what? My ass was tired. My ass was still tired. So I was like, okay, I'm going to finish this edit. I'm going to take a you know a little short nap because I was going to go out last night. When I tell you I was knocked out, I woke up at midnight and I had so many text messages, phone calls, so I put my phone on vibrate, bunch of messages on Discord, on social media, like, where are you at? Kendra just dropped, Kendra just dropped. And I'm like, wait, what? And I was like, oh, hell no. No, absolutely not. I ain't got time for this. I rolled over and went right back to sleep. I was like, you know what? I need my beauty sleep. Okay, I'm older now. I need my sleep. Y'all had me up the night before. I couldn't do it on Saturday. I'm sorry. You know, I wish I had the energy of a lot of these young vloggers who can sit up all day and fucking drink and, you know, just be on stream for nine hours. I don't have that. I'm not about that life, okay? I got my little pineapple juice. I'm, I'm recovering from Friday still, okay? Drinking my little vitamin C. But I do want to hear the song, so I stayed away from this whole Kendrick song, any reviews. I want to hear for myself First and foremost, I'm super excited to hear this diss track and then I will upload it for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out right now. Um, I know a snippet of it was posted on my Instagram page, but that wasn't me who posted it, that was Maria. And I did not hear this snippet. I've literally been off of social media all day until I was ready to listen to the song myself. So I'm super duper excited. So let's go ahead and check it out here. Let me share my screen. So as we see, it's been up for 20 hours. My ass was for real knocked out, okay? Um, it has over 14 million views and it's number one on trending. So I'm super excited for this, okay? So let's get ready to roar rumble. Psst. I see dead people. Okay. Shout out to the six cents. Hi. Monster on the beat, ho, he bo, then he rap, nigga, he a free throw, man down, call her Amber Lambs, tell him free bro, nail a nigga to the cross, he walk around like he's so what's up with these bony ass niggas trying to see Compton, the industry can hate me, fuck them all in the mama, how many ops you really got, I mean it's too many options, I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton, beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas Certified boogeyman, I'm the one that up to score with him Walking down whole time, I know he got some hoe in him Pull on him, extort shit, bully the flow on him Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young You better not ever go to cell block one To any bitch that talk to him and they in love Just make sure you hide your little sister from him they tell Oh, him okay, he's going there He is going there He said, Drake, I heard you like I'm young and any of y'all freak hoes who keep talking to him, you better hide your little sister from him, okay? This is crazy. I wonder if that's like a low-key shot at Lotto, because as we all know, uh, 21, can you do something for me? You know what I'm saying? 21 talking to his secret girlfriend, Lotto, whose sister is Brooklyn Nicole, who once was messing with John Morant, who's now seen messing around with Drake, who's damn near 40. Mm. He said, keep your little sister from him. Word to the wise, honey. Let's keep going, Kendrick. Let's go. The only one that get your hammy downs and party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, so hold on, hold on. He said, he said Chubbs gets his hand me downs. Party next door is playing with his nose now. Let me find out. Party next door is partying on that damn coke. Oh my gosh. And then he said, then oh yeah, remember about Baca not so nice. Somebody had sent a super chat Friday because I had no idea about why he went to jail. I thought he went to jail for being a shooter because he's supposedly, you know, allegedly Drake shooter. But they said he went to jail for having a sex trafficking ring. And now Kendrick Lamar is bringing that up. 
So it sounds like there's a lot of issues going on at OVO chat. He done called out Chubbs and Baca not so nice. Whew, okay, let's keep listening. Bop, bop, that fuck him up. Bop, 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 bop. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He said, why you trolling like a bitch? Aren't you tired? You probably struck a chord and you know it's a minor. A du I love his double entendres. Y'all know Drake keeps trolling him and making memes and gifts him and you know, Mr. Bia, Nick Bia. So he's like, aren't you tired yet of trolling in these memes and gifts? Sir, you're striking the chord and it's probably A minor. Double entendre, because in music, A minor is a note. And then he's talking about A minor, meaning that Drake has been attached to A minor. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, Kendrick. All right. They not like us. 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 I'm liking this beat. You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop, nigga? I think that open show gon' be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The hardy is Oh, okay, 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 okay. So he just said that you think Oakland gonna let you, you know what I'm saying, disrespect Pac, because we all know he used the Pac AI. The Pac estate was not happy. And he's saying that might be your last stop. Ooh. Drake, you better listen to Kendrick. You may want to stay away from Oakland, okay? Now, he also brought up J. Cole, and he's saying that you're filed for how you did Cole. So, um, I don't know. That can mean a lot. You know, maybe he feels like, you know, you and Cole did first-person shooter. You know what I'm saying? You threw a bunch of shots at me. Cole probably thought he was jumping on that track to show homage because he did say, you know, we're the big three. You know, Cole was paying, you know, homage to Kendrick, Drake, and himself. Um, but he probably feels like Drake has kind of like left Cole out there to dry. Cause you know, everybody's making fun of Jermaine at this point. We don't even look at him as a rapper anymore, even though, you know, we love his body of work, but he has to be Jermaine cause he got up there and apologized to Kendrick. And in that verse on, um, dropping Gimme 50, you know, even Drake was like, nah, I, I don't agree with Cole. That shit was whack. You know, your, your song was whack. So He's saying that Drake did Cole file. So I think that 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 I, there's a lot of meanings behind that. So let me keep listening. Let me keep listening. I dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there some be rest that's for bitch and you Malibu most wanted. Ain't no law boy, you ball boy, fish get rate or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Or over your foe. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Think a better straight. What? He said OVO stands for the other vaginal option and then called him a pussy. Another double entendre. Yeah, I know people, oh, child, this, this beef is just messy. Everybody says Drake be going both ways. And then in the last, um, the 616, he was saying like, you know, you grew a beard out. And basically insinuating that Drake has a beard, you know, using females as beards to cover up, like, you know, your bisexuality or homosexuality. So, ooh wee, he done changed the whole meaning of OVO. It is no longer October's very own, okay? It's now other vaginal option. Damn, Kendrick, why you doing like that? Oh my gosh, let's keep going. They they push, got famous all up in contact Might write this with a doctor, tell a pop star quit hiding Fuck a caption, won't action, no accident I'm hands on, he fuck around, get polished Fuck don't rain grow like he was in jail, that's conniving Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing I'm glad these rose came home, y'all didn't deserve him neither From Alonja down to Central, nigga better not speak on Serena And your homeboy Oh, hold up now, oh shit Kendrick is bringing it back This dude is diabolical If y'all remember, um, in one of, uh, Wayne's songs back in the day I can't think of the particular one. He talked about Drake fucking his girl. That supposedly Drake met her first, but you know, he, he didn't know that at one point Drake had her. And so he was kind of embarrassed when Drake finally sat him down. Like, yeah, you know, I've been kind of fucking on her. And then Kendrick is saying to apologize, he got Drake's, uh, he got Wayne's face tatted on him. Wow. That is crazy. Then he said, you know, while you and Cali and you doing all this talking, you better stay out of Serena's hood. Because y'all know Serena's from Compton. Her ass be sea walking and all that shit. And he's always coming at Serena. So I'm glad that Kendrick, finally somebody black in the entertainment space have stuck up for Serena. 
You know what I'm saying? Because he does throw shots at her and Serena ain't never did shit to Drake. It's like he's mad that she's, you know, found a husband. She's had her two babies. She's doing good. She's living her best life. Meanwhile, he's out here hiding all his kids and got a porn star baby mama. You know, I had to drag him a few years ago when he kept coming for Serena. Don't play about her. She ain't no rapper. You leave her alone. Okay. All the other rappers, they can go in the booth. But Serena's not a rapper, so I will always have her back. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> when he subpoena, that predator moving flax That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch I lean on you niggas like another line of walk Yeah, it's all eyes on me and I'ma send it up to Pac Ay, put the wrong label on me, I'ma get them dropped Ay, sweet chin music and I won't pass the ox Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five Ay, devil is a lie, he a 69 god Ay, freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside Ay, roll their ass up like a fresh pack of Zon Ay, city is back up, it's a must, we outside Ay, Mm. Call him the 69 God. They not like us. 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 Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. Okay, so this this is new. This is new. This ain't nothing he had already in his arsenal. Because remember, on um, Family Matters, Drake was like, why are you always rapping like you freed the slaves? That was very tone deaf, you know what I'm saying? Coming from a biracial man, like, really? Once upon a time, you know, we were all, you know, in chains, and homie doubled down on slaves. Because a lot of people did not like that line, like, really, Drake? You know what I'm saying? You, you're top my slavery? Like, no, keep that out of here. So it looks like Kendrick is trying to once again school him on history and the history of, you know, ATL and, you know, black Americans. So we're going to keep listening here. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer Fast forward 2024, you got the same agenda You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance Let me break it down for you, this the real nigga challenge You call future when you didn't see the club like, what? Little baby help you get your lingo up what? 21, get your first street cred Thug, bitch, you feel like you a slime in your head like, what? Cravo said you can be from north side what? 2 Chain say you good, but he lied You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars No, you not a colleague, you a fucking colonizer Oh! The the he don't went Wakanda on that ass, okay? Y'all remember when Kendrick and SZA did the, you know, the Wakanda uh, the track? He said, you are a colonizer. You done took your ass to Atlanta, stood next to little baby. He taught you the lingo. You stood next to Future trying to get in the club, stood next to 2 Chain. He told you it was all good, but it's not. And, and a young thug had you feeling like you was slime, okay? Oh my gosh, Kendrick is going in. He's going, he done caught this man a colonizer. But it kind of makes sense though, because remember that video that I found, that clip that I found that I put in that 616 video edit? And I was showing y'all where he basically really was mainly representing his Jewish side when he first came in. Him and Peter Rosenbaum, they were having that whole conversation. And, you know, he was raised Jewish. He went to a Jewish school. He had a bar mitzvah. And he was almost hyping himself up to be like the next Jewish rapper. So that, wow, that, mm. Let's keep going. Truth for the matter, here was God's plan to show y'all the liar. Mm. Mm -hmm. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan mm -hmm. He a fan, he a fan, he a Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God Hey, 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 oh run God. for your life Hey, 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 run for your life Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God Hey, 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 run for your life Hey, 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 run for your life Let me say O.V. Ho Say O.V. Ho Then step this way Step that way Then step this way Now him added a dance to it Oh my gosh, Kendrick is doing too much he is definitely trying to switch it up because everybody was saying all oh, those other diss tracks were boring. You got to decipher a bunch of stuff. This is a lot more easier to digest for the casual listener because I'm able to pick up this really quickly. Um, I see what he's doing here. He's trying to make it a little bit more dumbed down for the casual listener. You don't have to really go looking up Bible verses and adding two plus two is four. So, okay, I see you, Kendrick. He's even talking about, you know, putting a little, you know, adding a little two-step to it, Okay. Wow. That way. Are you my friend? Are we locking? Then step this way. Step that way. Then step this way. Step that way.
I can put my ass to that. Ah! Okay, that was crazy. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. So I, I'm definitely feeling it. Kendrick is not letting his foot off of Drake's neck. He's like, you've been itching. You've been wanting me to respond to you for so long. You know what I'm saying? You've been mad since the control verse. I'm not letting my foot off your neck. So we're going to go ahead and talk about this. I'm going to go live in a bit. So y'all stay tuned. We got to talk about this. I'm like shook it right now. So I will see y'all on live later. Okay. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.